thank you for uh, joining us. We are in progress with the beer reviews for this week. Hello, I'm Jacob Ridge at Dystopian Brewing Company. I'm looking at my awesome new t-shirt. Cool. Um, I'm actually right now drinking everyone's prices of coconut cream ale at 5.3%. I'm gonna give this a 4.8. This is delicious, it has a coconut delight. Very relaxed flavor, and you can tell it's the coconut at the very end. That's that's how good it is. Now here comes the October. This is a Marzen. It's a five eight point eight. It's malty. It's like a sweet kind of like bready, sugary scent to it. It's, I find this very good. I got uh, two flight uh, two. Um, Tasters of this flight. Uh, it's, I'm gonna give this um, like the um, cream ale. I'm gonna give the, the cream ale. Uh, wait, wait. Yeah, I'm not drunk. I'm not, so not drunk right now. Um, I'm gonna give that. I gotta give it a four point eight. Yeah, I, I am drunk. Right. Okay. This, the Mars and the Octopus, it is going to be 4.5. Very good, very delicious. Um, let me see, um, this is High Command, it's a Doppelbach. All right, well, kind of a sugary, kind of like a um, confectionery flavor to, uh, smell to it. Very bready. Very malty. I'm gonna give it a uh, 4.2. These are very good beers. One and screwed up because of this thing. It's the Escaton Rum Age Escaton. It is lasting around about 13.5 percent, and I haven't been able to eat anything. It's a stout. It smells very sugary, and it has kind of like a raisin smell to it. 4.2. Um, then there's Red Queen, it's a Rye IPA, I'm not a big IPA fan. It's resting at 7%. It has a very zesty smell to it. Very hoppy, very spicy flavor to it. I'm not really an uh, IPA fan, but I'm going to give it a um, 4 as well. These are very good beers. And out of the um, well, majority, it's like Odd Otter. Odd Otter makes really good stuff. Just Tokyo State makes really good stuff. Um, yeah, um, it's good that you guys can join me, even though I'm kind of... <laughs> hey, um, yeah, guess what? I'm going to finally get to see the anime Godzilla film. I'm excited about that. And also, for some reason... Well, yeah. Check out this. It's new. Yes, I'm kind of tattooed all over the place. Yeah. Next thing I probably may do is, I, I, I don't know why, but it's a cool kaiju. It's a Pandon from the Ultraman series. It's freaking awesome. I may get that as a tattoo. And it's the only kaiju I think that has like an Ultraman like transformation scene. Um, yeah, this is a very good brewery and um, maybe a little screwed up, but you know. Um, Hey, I like this. I want to show you my the place I uh, I live at. And look, the decor here is really nice. So you've seen this last time we were here. I do like the Red Queen art over there. It is Wait. Here we go. Yeah. That's awesome sauce right there. Hey, I've become the cameraman now. <laughs> Alright, guys. Uh, I hope you guys enjoy yourself. Like, I'm going to enjoy these. Um, share, comment. I know this is not as usual, uh, one of my usually long ones. I'm running out of battery power. But, hey. Um, by the way, real quick before I go. Apparently, there is going to be a manga version of the Godzilla anime that has new scenes and has little bit of the background of the original kaiju that attacks so maybe we'll see Orga, Dagara, maybe see the battle between Angulus and Rodan in China where they deploy Hedra as a biological weapon. That goes out of control but it will. Hey, I, 
I'll see you guys later. Bye.